majestic sound of the pipe organ, an instrument little changed since it began to appear in European cathedrals more than a thousand years ago. The creation of these massive handmade devices requires a level of old world craftsmanship not generally associated with the United States. So the rolling hills and farmland of Tennessee seem an especially unlikely place to find a family of organ builders. Nonetheless, three generations of the Milnar clan have found ample work creating and maintaining hundreds of pipe organs all over the American South. Married in New York in 1961 and desperate for work, family patriarch Dennis Milnar braved a snowstorm to find a job. I just started knocking on doors and uh, went to a pop bottling factory and uh, I think there was a drafting company and it, it was a small industrial area and uh, then I went up to the store and the snow was blowing and I couldn't really see what it was and uh, it was Delaware Organ Company. Mr. Milnar was quickly offered a seven-year apprenticeship. He learned woodworking first then moved on to leather craft, tinsmithing, and electrical wiring. The most difficult task came last, learning how to adjust the organ's voice. That's the top of a scale of, of uh, organ building. You have, to, uh, there's, you have to study the physics of uh, how air passes through a pipe, uh, the aerodynamics of what the air does, uh, how to adjust the aerodynamics of the pipe, and, uh, and that, that was, uh, they didn't teach business, so <laughs> that you had to learn on your own. Mr. Milnar brought his growing family to Nashville in 1968 after learning he'd have less competition in the South. He started teaching his four boys the art of organ building early, hoping they'd decide to stay. Derek, uh, my oldest, uh, he started holding keys when he was 12, and uh, all of my sons uh, had something to do as they were growing up with the company. The three oldest boys took to dad's unusual occupation right away. But youngest son Greg decided to try the corporate world first. After college he went to work for a computer company but soon realized that true satisfaction was best found closer to home. To see what the corporate life of a family business is to actually working for a corporation after college uh, for four years, it's a drastic change. Uh, the family business, you have brotherhood that you don't see out in the real world. All four brothers seem to have found their own special place in the family business. Oldest son Derek does the design work for each new organ. Jeff crafts cabinet parts in the workshop. Todd handles the restoration of older instruments. Greg helps out wherever he's needed and also maintains the company website. With one of his five grandsons now at work in the shop, Mr. Milnar has good reason to believe the business he created will survive into a third generation. But even if the family business doesn't survive, Mr. Milnar draws great satisfaction from knowing that the instruments he creates will outlive him by decades, if not centuries. When the acoustics of a building are right, the uh, congregation is singing fully and the organ is leading strongly, but that's, that's a special moment where you can feel a little tingling up your spine and know that you made it, uh, were a part of that, uh, that made, makes, makes it very special.